Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Shen Plays. Welcome back to Tac Team Scotland with my friend Arumba. Say hi, Arumba. Hello, Shenra. Tell me today, are, are you are you a sympathetic Frenchman today? Are you a no. baguette? No. No, no. Down with France. But but baguette is our ally. No. Oh France man. France will, France will getting, burn. He is getting overrun so hardcore. Even mm -hmm. Ragusa is sieging him. Oh man. I want to see Ragusa take land. I want to see that happen. That is interesting that they didn't transfer it to Austria. Venice has declared war on Ragusa. <laughs> well, bye Ragusa. You're getting full annexed. Oh my yeah. goodness. <laughs> Ragusa has no allies. How? Why is uh, Why is Ragusa in this war, anyway? That was France's war. France declared war on Ragusa and then he never oh. invaded. Oh, he's still in that initial war. Yeah. And wow. Ragusa, Ragusa doesn't want peace because they're winning. But now they're going to want peace. The problem is Ragusa can no longer get their army home because their navy cannot get past Venice's fleet. <laughs> so Ragusa is going to get full annexed. Ragusa has 38 war score against France. Oh, <laughs> France will give... Hold on, hold on. Oh, oh France just, just surrendered France. to Ragusa. He gave Armagnac back to England. So England is now too large to vassalize. Wow. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. I mean, it, it, it sucks, but it's also hilarious. Are they actually at more than 100% now? Jesus. Yep. How did that happen? Well, that was Ragusa. Why, why would Ragusa want that? <laughs> Just a week in France, I guess. Okay, well... And now their armies are going to be exiled. They're screwed. You know what? We can support... Let's use our... Hold on. Let's use our diplomat to support rebels in Gascon. And then Gascon, there are already at 8% unrest. That will make them spawn there instead of uh, keeping England over 100%. Then England will be small enough to annex again. Gascon. Which province are we talking about? Uh, Armagnac. There's Gascon nationalists there. It says Armagnac nationalists. Well, whatever. Okay, all right. I thought you were talking about Gascony, which has 0%. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's a good idea. Oh, okay. We'll try to get rebels there. All right. So, yeah. Okay. Armenian you know, nationalists. It's oh. only, uh, it's free, apparently. We actually cannot support them? Why not? I think you need to wait a month. I mean, I don't know. Because it's, it's, it's saying 0%. Interesting. Anyway, uh, France is probably going to peace out of this war soon. They're at 11 enthusiasm, 10 enthusiasm. Their capital's getting sieged. Yeah, as soon as their capital goes down, they're done. France should peace out here, and that'll get that'll give us a ton of war score. <laughs> oh goodness, we're still going to get ten more war score just from just from blockading. That's fantastic. Mm. Can we peace anyone out individually, like maybe Brandenburg or something? Because we don't need Brandenburg in this war. No. So how do you how do you feel about our government type? We have feudal monarchy right now. Income from vassals, we're not taking much advantage from. National manpower modifier is is okay. Despotic monarchy, though, unjustified demands and national unrest. I wouldn't normally pay for it, but I, I do think it's better than what we have. Hmm. The one I like, I like going up to uh, constitutional monarchy. Yeah, I like that too. Um, yeah, I think despotic monarchy is reasonable, especially if we take any land in a in a war that we don't have a claim on. Makes sense. Well, when can we get absolute monarchy? That's at level 20. That's mm -hmm. really far away. I think we take despotic. It's it's a good one. Let's do it. Make it so. Restructuring the government. Done. My king, we are entering a new era as we adopt a new form of government. We will now rule according to the principles of a despotic monarchy. Cool. We're actually losing the war now, technically, until France leaves. Just gotta wait for them to lose their capital. I mean, look at their war exhaustion. France is at 0.76, but a second ago they were at 5. So this They're... is really good. They're buying down their war exhaustion, wasting Diplo points. Do you remember earlier in the series you said that you've never seen the AI buy it down? Well, it's like... No, no, I, maybe I said that, but I didn't really mean it, like, ex exclusively. I've noticed there's a situation where the AI will intentionally keep their war exhaustion Hold on, high. hold on, hold on. I gotta cut you off here. England is colonizing. Holy crap. He's in Newfoundland. We should seize the colony. Our truce is up in... When's our truce up? Two years. That won't be done in two years. That's perfect. Have you done that before? Yeah. Where you wait till it's at like 950 and then militarily seize it? It's, it's one of the main tactics you can use to 
um, westernize really early as someone from like Asia. You uh, take exploration, you send your troops out, and you don't actually colonize yourself because it's too far away. But you send your troops to South America and you wait for like Portugal or Spain or whatever. And you seize their colony at like 990 and then you peace out, you give away some trade power or whatever, and then you let someone annex you in your in your area, like in India or whatever, and then you instantly have your capital moved for free to South America. So you don't have to core it. Well you do have to core it, but I mean you don't you can't you can't actually core it because it's too far away when you take it from Portugal. But since your capital moves there, then you can core it. And all of a sudden you're living in the new world. And you can westernize. It's hilarious. Why would you have to worry about the core though? Colonies auto core. Sweden has converted to reformed. Oh my god. Oh that's right, they do auto core. You're absolutely right. If you core on the same continent, they don't though. Right, right, right. So Sweden just converted. So there's no more defender of the faith problem. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. And he lost one of his allies, so he's now he's only allied to the Teutons. Huh. Wow, how is France still in this war? They're still at medium enthusiasm. I've never seen the AI peace out at medium. They always wait till they're low. Well, we could peace out Brandenburg right now. He has rebels all over. I think we should. Peace uh, him out for what? Concede defeat. Um... Nah, I think we just wait, because those rebels are making him not... In oh, hold on, hold on. Hey, our colony's done. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Alright, so do we go for another one of these rich ones? I mean, mm. we're only going to have... We have 75% autonomy here, so it's effectively 1.5 no. base tax. I, I think, think we should, we should go get for... started in North America right now. Yeah. Our colonial range is really, really good. We can go... Let's go to Connecticut. What if we went... Okay, we're going to have troops right next to the English colony in Avalon anyway. Why don't we go for, like, Placentia? So I know it's only one base tax, but it'd just be really easy to start a colonial nation up there. And if we have troops protecting it anyway, we can just march one province over, seize it, done. Yeah, that sounds fine. Unless okay. there's a really good base tax province nearby that you want. There's nothing... No, all the base tax up there is crap. You only get good base tax at Staticona, it's four. Everything else up there is, like, one and two. All right. So, let's yeah, let's do, do that. <clears throat> placentia. That's where they make placentas? Yep. All right, where did the transports go? I'm going to grab them. Did you delete them? No, I had them blockading. Ah, okay. We're going to go ahead and auto use auto fleet transport. Oh, I hate don't, that. Don't worry, it's fine. No, I'll it's pay not. close attention. I'll pay close attention to it. It leaves your ships out at sea. I know, but that's one of the things in my adjustment video. They're going to fix it. Just trust me. <laughs> Because it doesn't make sense. You're right. It doesn't make any sense. If you if you drop troops off in neutral or friendly territory, it should go into port. Oh, uh, Muscovy is now at war with Poland. So we might be able to piece Poland out of this war. That's cool. Uh-oh, we have to lose uh, 10 diplo points. Or we lose 10... Uh, yeah, or we lose 10 trade power in Lubeck. What would you prefer? Diplo. Okay. So I've decided. <laughs> what are you doing with? I hear I hear money all the time. What's going on? Oh, I'm just spending your lunch money. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Oh my goodness, there's 81,000 rebels in in Burgundy, or Brandenburg. I'm sorry, Brandenburg. It's crazy. Um, and of course they don't suffer attrition because they can just live off of water and air. Um, you know, but I've decided based on experience recently in, in another one of my campaigns that Sweden um, has collapsed to rebels. Sweden just lost a bunch of land to Gotland, and look at Finland. Finland's out. Holy crap. We need to attack Sweden. They have negative 100 prestige. Their morale is garbage. They are really in a weak spot. Oh my goodness. Yes, we do. But um, we need to peace out of Austria first, don't we? Well, I don't know. Just, Does Sweden just, have an army? If Sweden has no army, we can just go. Just give it a second. France is about to lose their capital. 56% chance to lose Ile de France. But um, anyway, I'm spent. we're going to go over the force limit for Navy. Because there's like virtually no penalty. The cost is so insignificant compared to Navy, or compared to land. Yeah. So we're going, we're just going to go over. Okay, let's do it. Sweden has 4,000 troops, by the way. 
Yeah, we need to attack them. Yep, Venice just full and next Ragusa. Goodbye, Ragusa. I have a feeling we'll see Ragusa again, though. Venice doesn't usually seem to be able to hold on to their acquisitions. They've got 10% revolt risk. And they're all Croatian. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna come back as Croatia or Bosnia. Mm-hmm. Sweden oh, is no are... longer a valid rival. Darn it. Alright, we need to stop embargoing Sweden. Okay, let me get a diplomat. France just lost their capital. He's at low enthusiasm. Negative 19. Why is he not piecing out? I think we're gonna see Austria like force them to spit out Burgundy. Or like Burgundy already of... exists. Well then they'll probably return Burgundy course. Maybe. I think they'll probably just make him release nations though. So I'm working on relationship with Finland. If we take if we take one province from Sweden, then we can peacefully vassalize Finland. I think that's worth it. We don't have a relationship available. We can we're get do, one available. We're gonna do the over over our relationship limit thing again, aren't we? No, no. What we can <laughs> do is in the war with Sweden, we can feed Norway as much as we can and then just annex Norway. Yeah, that's gonna take a while though. Alright, yeah. so diplomats available, go for it. Oh I already did. No, it's already done. Oh, okay. He's, he, he's yours. The embargo's done. Okay. I wonder if we'll be able to rival Austria, or are we still going to... I mean, they rivaled us. I don't see them becoming our ally anytime soon. We can probably rival them after the war. Yeah, I think so. Uh, Look, is that our only slot available? Yeah, it's our only slot available. Okay. Yeah. Alright. It's confirming our Navy's not dead. No, our Navy's doing fine. We're going to park the Navy in the colony. I think it can repair there, right? Yes, you should. All right, the English colony is at 550. We should attack them. Oh, our truce is almost up. Mm -hmm. November more year. next year. Yep. Plenty of time. Now, the thing is, is, is if we send our colonist to their colony after we seize it, as long as the colonist is there for even just one day, it will automatically switch to our religion and our culture. Right. So we'll want to probably do that because, well, actually, English is accepted. That's fine. And the conversion should be quick. Morocco, it's already, ha Morocco has rivaled England for some reason. There is no conversion. They're the same. Oh, they're the same religion? Perfect. Yeah, we're both Protestant. So letting them colonize for us could actually be a good thing. As long as we always seize their colonies. I had a campaign that I did where I was trying to like conquer the world with France. Mm -hmm. And uh, I took colonial ideas. And what I did is I was just incredibly vigilant about Portugal, uh, Castile, and England. Mm -hmm. And I would always go to war with them when they had colonies. And because Spain would usually do three colonies at a time... I'd wait till they were at like 800, and then I'd just go seize all of their colonies. Every time. Wow. And it was really fun. Really kind of tedious, but I had so much colonial stuff going on. They had like nothing. Very mean. Just like I like it. Okay, ships arrived. So we're going to protect the colony up there? Yeah, they're already there. Okay. Not that we need to protect it when there's very low aggressiveness and only 500 natives, but... We can steal that colony. Yeah, we need him there for that, so. He's probably going to colonize again during the war, but we should still be able to... Uh, oh, wow, yeah, he's at 130%. Is he actually going to get a revolt down there? Yeah, he's at 8.1 revolt risk in Armagnac. That should revolt, right? We still can't support the rebels there. I don't know why we can't support rebels. doesn't make sense. It's hard to say. It's one of my complaints in the adjustments video is... You should be able to know more information about rebels when you're supporting them. Or why you can't support them at all. Yeah, that'd be a good thing to be able to, to do that. Negative, France is at negative 57. I don't know what they're waiting for. And I really want to attack Sweden. <laughs> I guess they just really like being at negative at five war exhaustion. The longer this goes on, though, the better for us, honestly. The weaker France gets, the better. Meanwhile, our ticking war score is at 23. So it's almost maxed, yeah. Yep. I think that as soon as France pieces out, we'll probably be able to negotiate trade power from Austria. Okay. And we don't need full maintenance right now. Yeah, we're not we're not fighting anything at all. Uh, I should I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep building uh, temples and things. So we are right now eight over the naval force limit, and it costs us one ducat. We're one over the land force limit, and it costs us one ducat. Yeah, naval force limit is, is meant to be broken. 
Or as DDR Jake says, uh, something about something being just a number. Yep, anything is just a number. All right, now, since we did already tech up our Diplo, do we want to take the next Diplo idea? I think we do. It's so cheap. Well, it's cheap all the time, but yeah, I think so. I mean, the more the more of these exploration IDs we get, the bigger of the discount we'll get. Yep, let's keep working on it. On tech. And the next one is 20 more settlers as well. And yeah, France is... I don't know what he's doing. Negative 36. He's at 6 exhaustion. He's not even paying it down anymore. He doesn't care. We should we should go for some of these triggered modifiers. If we go discover the Cape of Good Hope, um, and we have any trade node with an active merchant, one of the following must be true. Straits of Johor, the Ganges, Delta, Thata, or Amoran Cape. Right. Just increase our trade income. Yep, I think that's a good one to go for. Uh, the rest of them are kind of meh. Don't really want to go for Jerusalem or Omer Mecca. No, but the East Indian trade route. Hey, there we go. Oh, there you go. France pieced out. So he gave Artois and Rethel to Austria. And that's that's it. And Somehow that only cost they him did, two. They didn't even force us to break our alliance. That only oh. cost him six Diplo. Do we have any uh, transports so we can go siege up Brittany? We have five. Okay, let's go siege up Brittany. Where's the transports? They're over in the New World. They were repairing. Gotcha. Okay. So, okay, I'm going to just take a look. Austria is still at medium enthusiasm, but that's going to come down soon. Just because of length of war. Relative strength of the alliance is bad for us, but looking at... I'm going to get Poland out of the war, okay? Yeah. Transfer trade, that'll help out quite a bit. Transfer trade power, we have negative 36 reasons, but they'll probably accept as soon as they get down to low. All right, you can unpause. And yeah, we'll probably start piecing out their separate... They're separate guys. Trier is at five enthusiasm. They'll probably leave soon. Duly noted. And Trier is so small. Oh, and the uh, King of Savoy did manage to make a baby at the age of 67. Good for him. So we do have, we France contributed negative seven war score for us from all the battles. That's okay. He also um, soaked up a whole lot of Austria's enthusiasm. Austria's down to 11. So yeah, we can we can definitely um, safely siege Brittany. And that'll give us some more score that we can use against Austria. Unless right. you want to vassalize Brittany. Um, I don't think we should. That's tempt. That is so tempting. I don't know. We're already at 4 out of 4 and you wanted to pick up Finland. Yeah, I think it's I think it's more important to pick up Finland right now. Oh wow, Brittany's got yeah. eight troops down there. Uh, I'm going to build some more transports. Okay. So, naval support, naval supply limits, just a number. I just want to. I just want to make sure when we drop off troops, we're going to drop off enough to fight that eight stack. All right, taking a look at Trier. They are at negative four reasons for white piece. Not much longer. Yep. Give it like four months at most, five maybe. Platinate's not far behind. Uh, Gelray is fully blockaded, and Gelray has four exhaustion, but he still has high enthusiasm. He's a trooper. Uh, looks like the difference between him and Trier is what? Military strength. They, they feel like they're really strong. Why? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they have max manpower and they're like, sure, we only have 3,000 men, but we've got 20,000 manpower. <laughs> the children, the youth, they're ready. Hey, trade efficiency plus 5% for 10 years. Very nice. Take it. Business is booming. Um, so if you're planning on attacking Brittany, you might want to raise maintenance. I just did that. I'm just waiting for the ships to finish building. They got um, May. Yeah, it's about six months for the ships. We only recover morale at 27%, so I guess we can hold off. For oh, wow. Austria is fighting Muscovy. Oh, wow. And Muscovy's getting his butt whooped. <laughs> Oh, our truce is up with England. He just embargoed us. How come I didn't get a pop-up about that? That's strange. England. They are allied with Portugal. If we... Okay, so we... I think this is probably more important than Sweden or anything else we got going. We got to end the war with Austria, declare war in England. That brings in Portugal. We call in Castile. Castile and Portugal fight each other. Yes. Very important. And we need that colony. We don't want England getting a leg up up there. 
Right. But we've got time. We got like a year before we have to declare. As long as he doesn't get any other allies, then yeah, we have time. Okay. Um, Austria's down to four enthusiasm. Trier's at two. England coalition does whatever. Oh, you know what? Oh, wow, the unrest in, in Armagnac's up to 11. It'd be really cool if we could tell if the, when the or what the progress is on those rebels spawning. That'd be amazing. Yeah, that's what I'm asking for. That's what I'd like to see. When you're, I think you'd have to support rebels to see it. But I think if you're supporting rebels, they should be able to at least tell you like, hey, uh, we'll probably be ready to go in like five months. Right. You know, you like, know what? We don't even need the extra transports. How about we transport troops to France? Then we can just walk in from there because Brittany doesn't have access in France. Good. Good point. Let me delete the extra transports. No, nah, they're already done. Screw it. We'll keep, fine. we'll keep 10. We can mothball them. I don't even think we need to. I think they're they're so inexpensive. That's not a big deal. And Austria is down to low. Cool. I think we wait one more month. Peace out, Trier. Trier might even say yes right now. Let's check. Nope. In 12 days, they'll say yes. All right. So we'll await peace. I'll do that. It might even be them coming to us. Nope, that's Austria. They'll concede defeat. Go nope. to hell. Not good enough, Austria. Trier is out. Okay, excellent. Alphanet is... See. Wow, if we get 665 war score, we can convert Austria to Protestant. I think we should totally revoke their imperial reforms. <laughs> All right, we could. Okay, here's a, here's an idea. Let's let's just. I want to think about this for a second. The timer went off, by the way. I, I heard, but I, wait, let's, um, let's see if we can piece out first. Okay, hold on. Austria's income is 67. If we were to take war reparations, we'd get 10% of their total income. So we get like 6.7 ducats a month, probably. Mm -hmm. But they're gonna lose income after we piece them out because they're gonna lose their embargo. So mm -hmm. 6.7 ducats, maybe. Call it maybe five ducats. And there's no relationship slot, or. If we go for transfer trade power, which we have negative 15 reasons for, that does cost a us a relationship slot, but we get probably more money from the trade node. Do you like you... Do you like how him owning his capital of Vienna confers negative five to our peace offer? Isn't that crazy? What, that he had, that his capital hasn't been sieged? Yeah. Anyway, yeah, I, I don't think we're gonna get those 15 points. I don't think that's possible. Right now, they're only collecting six ducats out of the total node. I, mm. I think we're going to make more money for more reparations. Yeah, I think I think war reparations is a good idea. Can we take some cash as well? 200. And that's not even the full peace deal. We could maybe even get one more thing. Maybe? No, probably not. Yeah, I think that's good. 200 ducats and, 50, and uh, 10 and more score. We're Go for that. it. Go for it. That would get rid of his embargo. Yeah. I'm really excited about this. So right now we have 416 trade power. Let's see what happens. As soon as the embargo goes away. Can't wait. I'm ready. Let's wait. <laughs> We're at 454. Nice. This is like 40 more trade power. It's pretty cool. Okay, cool. Are you ready? Yep, let's call it. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed this episode. Next time on Tech Team Scotland, we'll be attacking England. This could be the final war with England, assuming the rebels in Armagnac spawn. And uh, we're definitely going to siege his colony. Oh, shoot, there's rebels in Norway again. Norway, get it together. Anyway, we'll see you guys next time. Have a good day. See you soon.